For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Let's first take a closer look at how Palantir stock has performed so far in 2024 and assess whether it's wise to buy shares before the third quarter earnings report. As of October 22nd, in intraday trading, Palantir shares have soared by an astounding 149% year to date, which is a significant achievement for any stock in such a short span. This impressive rise brings the current share price to $42. And 79 cents, a level near the company's all time highs, showcasing the stock's remarkable upward momentum throughout the year. To add more perspective, Palantir's stock has experienced an eye popping rise of 78% since the company released its quarter two earnings report on August 5th. This period marks a crucial turning point for Palantir, as it has been able to capture the attention of both investors and analysts with its stellar performance and robust growth. It's important to understand that this surge is largely driven by growing enthusiasm surrounding the artificial intelligence sector, where Palantir has established itself as a key player. Investors are clearly betting on Palantir's potential to capitalize on the transformative power of artificial intelligence, which is being hailed as the next big technological revolution. The company's stock movement can largely be attributed to the prevailing sentiment among investors that Palantir is well positioned to benefit from the rapid advancements in artificial intelligence. This excitement, which has been building over recent months, is reflected in the significant rise in Palantir's share price. But while it's easy to get caught up in this excitement, it's worth asking the question, what do these price gains really mean for the stock's valuation, and does this mean the stock is a good buy right now? To address these questions, it's essential to dive into some valuation trends and explore how Palantir's recent performance stacks up from a financial perspective. As with many growth stocks, determining Palantir's value can be quite challenging. Growth companies like Palantir are typically measured based on their future potential, rather than their current financial performance, making traditional valuation methods less effective. Although Palantir has managed to turn a profit with positive net income and free cash flow, these figures are still relatively small compared to the company's overall market capitalization. One important valuation metric to consider is the company's price to sales ratio, which measures how much investors are willing to pay for each dollar of revenue generated by the company. As of now, Palantir is trading at a price to sales multiple that exceeds 40. This is quite a lofty valuation, especially when compared to other companies in the data analytics and software space. Even more telling is the fact that Palantir's price to sales ratio has increased significantly over the past three months, suggesting that the stock has been experiencing some outsized momentum. This rapid increase in valuation is a clear sign that investor sentiment has been driving the stock price higher, despite the company's relatively modest financial metrics. As I've mentioned in the past, Palantir remains a core holding in my portfolio, and I am still optimistic about the company's long-term growth potential. There's no denying that Palantir has some compelling characteristics that make it an attractive stock for investors with a long-term perspective. The company's focus on artificial intelligence, data-driven decision-making, and government contracts gives it a unique position in the market. However, it's also important to recognize the factors that are currently inflating Palantir's valuation. These tailwinds primarily driven by excitement around artificial intelligence are hard to ignore and they raise questions about whether the stock is becoming overpriced. A closer look at the stock's performance since its public debut in late 2020 provides additional insights. The chart below outlines Palantir's stock trends over time, with key moments like earnings reports highlighted by purple circles marked with the letter E. Since the beginning of last year, Palantir's shares have typically risen following earnings announcements. This pattern indicates that the company has a track record of positive momentum in the after aftermath of its earnings reports, which is a useful observation for investors. Over the long run, Palantir has demonstrated its ability to generate strong returns for its shareholders, which suggests that the stock has been a consistent winner over extended periods. As an investor, one of the key factors I'll be keeping an eye on is whether large institutional investors continue to accumulate shares of Palantir. In my view, this is a crucial indicator of how influential market players perceive Palantir's valuation. When large institutions start increasing their positions in a stock, it often signals strong confidence in the company's future prospects, especially as it continues continues to scale and expand. While it can be tempting to try and time the market by buying a shares ahead of an earnings report, there are simply too many variables to consider when it comes to Palantir at the moment. Let's not forget that the end of 2024 is quickly approaching, and with it comes the potential for increased market volatility. Historically, the final months of the calendar year can experience sharp swings in trading activity as investors engage in tax loss harvesting, a common strategy where they sell off underperforming assets to offset capital gains. 
This phenomenon alone can contribute to heightened volatility in the stock market, which may have an impact on Palantir's share price in the coming weeks. On top of this, there's another major factor looming on the horizon, the upcoming presidential election. While it may be coincidental that Palantir is releasing its third quarter earnings just one day before election day, I expect the capital markets to experience significant fluctuations in the days leading up to and following the election. Political events of this magnitude tend to create uncertainty, which in turn affects investor sentiment and can lead to increased volatility in stock prices. In light of these factors, I believe there is simply too much unpredictability surrounding Palantir as we head into the final months of the year. For this reason, I think a more cautious approach may be warranted. Rather than rushing to buy shares ahead of the quarter three earnings report, I would suggest waiting on the sidelines for now and looking for potential buying opportunities during any market corrections. While I do expect Palantir stock to rise over time following its third quarter earnings, there's no immediate need to jump into the stock at this very moment. Patience may pay off as we move through the remainder of the year and investors look to take advantage of any pullbacks in the stock price. In conclusion, Palantir stock has experienced extraordinary growth this year, fueled largely by excitement surrounding artificial intelligence and the company's unique position within this space. Although the company's fundamentals are improving, the current valuation may be somewhat stretched, especially in the context of the market market volatility expected in the coming months. Investors should consider holding off on purchasing shares until there is more clarity and potentially more favorable entry points arise. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.